March 8th, St. John of God. St. John of God was born in the year 1495 in Portugal. He died in Granada, Spain in the year 1550 at the age of 55. He was the founder of the Order of the Brother Hospitallers of St. John of God, a religious institute dedicated to the care of the poor, sick, and those suffering from mental disorders. Nothing in John's early life foreshadowed his future sanctity. He ran away as a boy from his home in Portugal, tended sheep and cattle in Spain, and served as a soldier against the French and afterwards against the Turks. When about forty years of age, feeling remorse for his wild life, he resolved to devote himself to the ransom of the Christian slaves in Africa, and he went thither with the family of an exiled noble, which he maintained by his labor. On his return to Spain, he sought to do good by selling holy pictures and books at low prices. At length, the hour of grace struck. At Granada, a sermon by the celebrated John of Avila shook his soul to its depth, and his expression of self-abhorrence were so extraordinary that he was taken to the asylum as one mad. There, he employed himself in the ministering to the sick, on leaving he began to collect the homeless poor and to support them by his work and begging one night st john found in the streets a poor man who seemed near death and it was his wont he carried him to the hospital laid him on a bed and went to fetch water to wash his feet when he had washed them he knelt to kiss them and stared with awe the feet were pierced and the print of the nails bright with unearthly radiance he raised his eyes to look and heard the words john to me thou doest all that thou doest to the poor in my name i reach forth my hand for the alms thou givest me dost thou clothe mine are the feet thou dost wash and then the gracious vision disappeared leaving st john filled at once with confusion and consolation the bishop became the saint's patron and gave him the name john of god when his hospital was on fire, John was seen rushing about, uninjured, amidst the flames until he had rescued all his poor. After ten years spent in the service of the suffering, the saint's life was fittily closed. He plunged into a river to save a drowning boy, and he himself died in the year 1550 of an illness brought on by the attempt at the age of 55. God often rewards men for works that are pleasing in his sight by giving them grace and opportunity to do other works higher still. St. John of God often attributed his conversion and the graces which enabled him to do his works of love to his self-denying charity in Africa.